Hi Mike. Howdy Fred. Oh, and dear condolences. I know. Danielle was the best sister I could have asked for. Even though we were 16 years apart, I always loved her. She was my only sibling. Where's the boss? He's at the graveyard with my mother and grandfather. Again, many condolences to you and the boss. I think it's best if I call him now. Otherwise I can't think about the jambalaya we're supposed to cook. Best if you start now. Okay, but remember, you're not alone. Me and my living family members all survived the massacre, but my old school friend Jack Walters and his younger brothers Rogers didn't. Ah, the Walters brothers too. It is a miracle that God protected our restaurant. The funeral already was hard. Barely anyone managed not to cry. It was the first time I saw my grandfather cry. He's 81 now and didn't cry at my grandmother's funeral last year either. Well, she was still young. You're right, Fred. That also plays into it. I do hope that Eric Falls, Texas recovers from all that I remember the night before the funeral. I read a psalm from the King James Bible. Did that calm you? Sure did. Excuse me, Fred, but I gotta call my father now. Hi, son. How are you doing? Hey, Dad. Not too great. Getting back into the groove of things ain't easy. I fully understand that, Junior. But keep in mind, your sister wouldn't have wanted it any other way. That's obvious. At least she's not reunited with Nana. There's something I gotta tell you, son. What's it, Dad? I plan to retire. You will become the new restaurant owner. Papa, are you serious? Y'all can't be that. You're only 62. I know it may come as a surprise. Your grandfather first wasn't fond of that choice either. But I ran this restaurant for over 30 years by now. Now is a time for change. I'm fully aware of such. Indeed the change must come eventually. I'm just afraid I could destroy everything you've built up so dearly. I understand, Junior. But don't think that way. You already were into cooking in elementary school. You are a fantastic cook. Yeah, but as a businessman, I really don't know. Well, you will still get my support. And look at yourself. You've become a wonderful husband to Regina and a great father to Eugene, Stephanie and Don. You're right. I think it's time to focus back on my work. Bye and I love you all. We love you too. And remember, God Almighty is guiding your ways. So I suppose it's time to water the grave. I'm gonna do exactly that. Dad, thank you for bringing the flowers. I did exactly the same thing like when your mother died last year. Let's pray her and Danielle will have a reunion after Judgment Day.